The Philippines is one of the countries with more to lose than others when it comes to climate change. On Saturday, environmental activists turned out in force to press home their demands for action ahead of Monday's opening of the Paris summit. Greenpeace says the nation is a poster child for the impact of changing weather patterns and worsening storms. Internationally, the Philippines has always ranked consistently at the top of climate risk indices, and that makes us vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. We are already experiencing it at the present, and we know that that's the reason why we are marching here for today to demand for climate justice. Activists poured onto the streets of Brisbane in Australia too, ahead of the United Nations climate talks in Paris. The Australian Greens deputy leader says Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has to do more than just not be Tony Abbott. He needs to come out with an announcement that either increases our targets, ideally, or at the very least commits some serious funding to climate finance to help developing nations, particularly those in our region, adapt to and mitigate climate impacts. In New Zealand, people gathered in cities across the country for Saturday's global climate march. The rallies are intended to push governments attending the United Nations sponsored talks starting next week to take decisive action. The summit aims to get agreement between 195 countries on a plan to cut greenhouse gas emissions scientists say are raising the world's temperatures and altering the Earth's climate.